A riddle of several years finally solved by men of the intelligence response team. They unraveled the identity of this notorious high-profile kidnapper, Chukudidu Meme Onwama Dike, also known as Evans. Leading intelligence officials to his place of abode along Fred Shoboyede Road in Magudu area of Lagos. One can only imagine the elements that make up this magnificent structure. A reflecting automated steel gate provides the only entrance to the compound, closely watched by closed circuit cameras. Power supply is no problem here, as that is taken care of by these generating sets. Speaking later on the gang's operations from Lagos to Anambra, Edo and Port Harcourt, a suspect claims his arrest was difficult for authorities owing to the fact that they only converge at a meeting point for their operations and sharing of ransom. I started in Anambra. Then from Anambra, I moved to Edo. Then I come to Lagos. I have people that give me information. Mm -hmm. Each time I, go, I want to go for a press, I will connect on phone. I will, I will call them on phone, mm -hmm. like let me so so and so place, okay. before we start going for the operation. Mm -hmm. We do kid we kidnap. The highest money we collected is from First Tag, one million dollars, from somebody living in First Tag. At the state police headquarters in Keja, Lagos, recovered arms, thousands of ammunition, locally made chain for victims and gang members, including a couple are all on display. The arrival of the kingpin raises the temple in this parade as is welcomed with shouts and chants. The arrest of Evans and his gang member is the beginning to the end of kidnapping. Another in this, this latest arrest may bring some relief to residents of Lagos and its environs. The expectation, however, is that police will be able to rescue those still in captivity of these kidnappers and ultimately put an end to the menace. That's what we're focusing on today. We've got uh, Mr. Michael Joffo, who joins us now. He's a former director with the SSS, and incidentally, mm -hmm. he was also uh, kidnapped. But thankfully, uh, mm -hmm. he was rescued. Thank you for coming on this morning. My pleasure. Uh, this is a very serious challenge, a security challenge that we've got on our hands. And we do know that different states, a lot of them are coming up with laws, but it looks as if in spite of those laws, this is still going on. But uh, you have the benefit of hindsight, I mean, having also been a victim. What do you think it's um, the biggest challenge you have combating kidnapping? Well, you see, uh, before I go into the, how we're going to curb this menace, we must make a distinction between the various uh, kidnaps. You have the Fulani government who kidnap ostensibly to extort money because these are part of fleeing Boko Haram people. Okay, that, that's, that's the thing, because if you say they're Fulani government, are they Fulani government or they are Boko Haram, those who are fleeing, they are, they Boko, are combined? They are, they are Boko Haram, but you know that the bulk of them, because of the place they are coming from, are Fulanis. Then they, 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 they kidnap, collect ransom to possibly replenish their depleting armory. And they do this in connivance with some notable people. So, in their own case, it's quite different. They don't know their targets. Notable people, mm. security or no, civilians? No, no. Uh, people in the society including their security agents, the members of the security agencies. And now, you look at, they don't have defined targets. They strike at any time, looking at uh, possibly vehicles because they don't know their targets. Does that make them more dangerous? Makes them more dangerous because in most cases, they kill. 
if they fail to get their ransom, they kill their victims. That is different from what is happening. That's organized crime. Oh, yes. Organized kidnapping crime. Yes. That is different from this organized kidnapping. These people know their victims. They know their capacity. They know their capability. Their ability to pay. So they go for such victims. And in most cases, all they're interested in is that they must get their money. They don't kill their victims. On very rare cases that they kill their victims. So this, I, I want us to have a distinction between these sets of kidnappers. Yeah. So, wh whether it is the Fulani government, whether it is the organized uh, kidnap, like what is happening, both are dangerous to the society. Why do you think it is thriving? It is thriving because, um, you know, prior to this time, we used to have uh, kidnaps, uh, no, armed robbery, which has now gone down as it is, because people hardly carry cash because of uh, internet mm -hmm. banking. So the best way and the easiest way for people to make money now, apart from the harsh economic conditions in the country, why, why it's thriving is that people make money through kidnapping. People are bound to pay. Before I became a victim, if you remember, the first interview, the encounter I had with you, I had always had this position that people should not pay ransom. Because if you pay ransom, it encourages people to pay more. And I did ask you, what do they do in that particular challenge? Because it was easier to tell them not to pay. But ever since then, you, your views changed. I've changed my views, you know, because uh, like the, the government, the Fulani government, for instance, if you don't pay, they will kill. And you can't also blame the police. Once they have their victims, and they are there. You can't go to confront them, especially in that Kogi axis, because the forest is so vast. Mm -hmm. And if, if you go to confront them, they will kill the victim because they, their life has no meaning to them. What, what can a victim do in that kind of situation? Because you've had a first-hand experience. What yeah. can a victim do in that kind of situation to prevent an escalation of the minds of uh, those kidnappers just so that they, they don't eventually kill you? No, 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 no. You see, it's very easy, but people don't understand. One is that you must not try to escape. Don't you ever make the mistake of trying to escape. Cooperate with them. Whatever they tell you, just obey their instructions. And let also your negotiators be moderate in their, in, in their negotiations, in their terms. Play along with them. If you try to escape, that's where you have problems. And that's why they keep most of the victims. You know, the thing about that particular one, it, it looks as if there isn't any one-size-fits-all kind of response to this one because we've heard people's accounts, especially the most recent case, how one of the victims escaped after having paid $150 million, and yeah. that's how they were eventually able to nab this, uh, aka Evans. Yes. So how do you respond to that? No, you see, when God is at work, that's purely divine intervention. You, until we, you're able to talk to the man, to know how he escaped. You see, without being sentimental, even in the, in the, in the Bible, you saw how Peter escaped. People guarding him, and they all wanted to kill themselves. So when God is at work, you don't take chances. Like I said again, this group of people operating like Evans Group, they are after their money. They hardly can keep because they know they will be traced. Don't also forget that a ransom has been placed on the man since, I think, uh, August uh, 2013. And I must commend the police this time around because I believe the success must duly largely to the update in their technological uh, intelligence gathering efforts. I, do, I think they have acquired new equipment that is assisting. Otherwise, that man is a very dangerous man. Mm. And it's going to, it would have been very, very difficult without the update in their technical intelligence. Uh, but 
you know, there are those who also say, which is a point you mentioned briefly, that for these kidnappers, whichever category they are, to succeed, they do have some backing either of uh, trained military personnel or security or police. People always believe that there must be an element of such because the, uh, how brazen they operate perhaps points it, to it, that. It, yes, yes. You cannot rule that out completely. There could be connivance between some of our retired 